Christian Schumacher is with Continental, the giant German automotive supplier. He's in charge of all advanced driver systems. I think I've got that right. Correct. Close enough. Close enough. We've talked a lot with Christian in the past. Today, Continental is showing off a 360 degree view mirror. Or you explain it. Okay, basically what we're showing here at the show is a car that uses top view, a system that gets more and more popular. Basically a satellite image that you get from your car, from the top, where you see your car and all the surroundings. It's utilizing four cameras. We have two in the outside mirrors. We have one in the front and one in the back that is identical to your usual rear end camera. What we're doing here additionally is, uh, that's why we call it 360 degrees surround view. We have the capability that not just seeing the car from the top, you can literally walk around the car. It's like uh, in a computer graphic that you see your car from all the angles. And what is the feature for? At the end of the day, it's mostly for uh, the low speed parking maneuvers where you don't see the post on the front end of your car. And now you can literally walk there, see it and detect the hazard. Christian, we've seen other automakers introduce technology similar to that, Nissan, Infiniti. Yes. But as you see the top down bird's eye view of the yes. car, there's segments, it's not a continuous image. Yours has a continuous image. How do you get that? Correct, and uh, as we try to highlight here, this is the next level, it's still a prototype, but uh, the technology of stitching got further along and now we are capable of having one image instead of having these four images that still have the divider lines. So you have now a seamless picture of the complete surrounding. It looks like a real picture, like, as I said, a satellite image of your car. And you were telling me earlier that the stitching, as you call it, that yes. eliminates those segments or lines Correct. came right out of computer gaming technology. At the end of the day, you can say the technology is very comparable to what you have today in computer gaming technology. No question about it. It's using basically the same algorithms and it's using, at the end of the day, the same processors that are used in this industry as well. It's very amazing to see that you only have a few cameras but can give a, a full view of the car, as you said, walking around it and see it. And that's the amazing part of uh, how far computer graphic got us today. What you can do with these features, again, from our perspective, is mostly for the safety features. But there's obviously one additional feature you were referring to in this car. Uh, one of the challenges we have in general with uh, ADAS functionality is the so-called HMI, Human Machine Interface. And what we try to do in this specific car here is to work on a different approach to see is there a better way to show the driver the surroundings without distracting him. What we're doing here specifically is instead of having the image like it is, for example, in other products in the center stack, we now put this image into the mirror, rear view mirror. And in this case, we're trying to keep the eyes of the driver always towards the forward direction. Obviously, when he's driving forward, we want him to look outside to the front. And in this case, we're giving him a possibility to see everything. That means the front and the rear and the side of the car all in one direction, in this case, in the rear view mirror. I know that this is still under development, but when might we see this in showrooms? It is obviously currently still difficult to say because this car, from our perspective, is strictly a study. We're trying to find out what is the best human machine interface. The technology regarding the stitching can be seen in showrooms fairly soon. Um, the mirror concept, I would see, is still further out there. Gotcha. Christian, thanks for your time today. And keep on checking at the AutoLine website for more updates from the management briefing seminars. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode.